Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you how I turned some thrifted items into a beautiful tea tray and I will decorate it for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned for that. And this is what I have. This is already a riser, but it is too small. So I will put a bigger plate on top of that, this one. Like so. And then I need a glass, a thin one to put in the center like so and then I will top it off with a wooden tray that already looks fantastic like so first thing clean it properly to prepare it for painting and gluing no grease or anything Once clean, I will start gluing and I will glue that riser onto the bigger plate. And I'm just marking out where I want it so it will be right in the center. I took some ordinary glue and also some hot glue to get that long lasting and uh, the quick hold. This video is also part of a challenge. All you need is love, tear tray collab. And it is hosted by Carol at My Blessed Nest. And if you're not familiar with Carol and her channel, to jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave a link to her channel down in my description box along with a link to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads and loads of inspiration how to decorate your tea tray for Valentine's Day. Same procedure with the glass mark it in the center and measure it and uh, then combine hot glue with some ordinary glue time to spray paint this piece with a matte black color and uh, i needed two coats and I also had to turn it to reach the bottom of my tear tray. And now for the top part, with the help from my assistant, I will dry brush it with a white acrylic. And then I will also go over it with a black acrylic to get that greyish worn feel to it. Still white here. And here I mix it with the black acrylic as well, brushing away until I am happy with the result. The bottom part has dried, but that glass in the center, it uh, didn't hold, so I had to glue it all over again. Uh, it wasn't a very strong hold with the, the hot glue and that all-around glue didn't work that well. So in the end I had to choose 
a stronger adhesive and let it dry a little bit longer. I was a bit impatient, I guess. And then you have to correct your mistakes and um, make it work. Here I'm dry brushing with a white acrylic. And then I decided to go over it with a sponge as well. Just dabbing white acrylic, black acrylic and also a copper color as you see here. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. Then it's time to put on the top and here I was a bit stubborn and using hot glue again but that didn't work so stronger he adhesive once more and here it is I show how it looks empty at first and then I will show you how I decorate it for Valentine's Day it's a nice tear tray I think and here it is in my hutch can't see it really yet but i will show you in a moment there on the lower shelf it is and i decorated the whole shelf with some hearts and romantic things like champagne glasses led candles and here is the tray i will give you a footage with some more light in just a second and here are these beautiful flowers in swedish they are called leutnantshjärtan directly translated to lieutenant's heart i don't know if that is the correct name in english though tell me down below And now with some brighter light, so you can see all the details. So here it is, looking pretty with the beautiful flowers and the heart made of wooden beads, some lovebirds and my dice and the flowers here again. Beautiful. And a love letter and these stones Swedish Lengtan and Drömmar Longing and Dreams So tell me what do you think? Leave me a comment down below And if you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.